Hello there, my name is Neil O'Brenicon and I am a former member of the Irish Parliament and I'm currently working as a researcher in the National University of Ireland in Galway. I'm working together with uh, colleagues from five different countries in Europe on an EU interreg project called Care Peace. Together with colleagues from the Greifswald Meyer Centre in Germany, Wetlands International and other colleagues from right across the European Union, we've put together a position paper for the Common Agricultural Policy. Now this position paper seeks to do two key things. The first is to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions uh, from degraded peatlands. And the second thing is to uh, make sure that farmers in the European Union get a better income. Now it's possible to do these two things together by re-wetting peatlands. Let's have a look at the global situation. Roughly one third of all soil carbon is stored in peatlands, whereas peatlands only cover roughly 3% of the global land area. However, degraded peatlands contribute to roughly 5% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Thankfully though, a lot of this can be reduced by simply re-wetting those peatlands. But to put things in context, Roughly 5%, as we said, of uh, greenhouse gas emissions globally are contributed to by peatlands, whereas direct contributions from shipping and aviation only amount to 2% each. In terms of global carbon stocks, peatlands are the most significant ecosystem on the planet. In fact, they hold four times as much carbon as tropical rainforests, and they hold twice as much as a giant coniferous forest. Our cap position paper clearly shows where the peatlands are in Europe. Obviously most of them are in the northern part of Europe where it tends to rain a lot because they're obviously wetlands. The key target of our position paper is to facilitate the new environmental ambitions of the post-2020 Common Agricultural Policy and to create coherence between agricultural and climate policies. CAP obviously must safeguard and stimulate preservation of carbon-rich soils through protection of peatlands. Our primary goal is to guarantee eligibility of farmed wet peatlands for CAP payments to farmers. Our CAP position paper shows degraded peatlands right across the European Union, but it also shows that by re-wetting 3% of agricultural land we can save up to 25% of agricultural emissions. So what we're trying to encourage is we're trying to encourage wetland farming rather than traditional rained, drained farming, polluticulture in other words, and we're trying to encourage carbon farming. What we want to do is keep the carbon in the ground, not in the atmosphere, and keep our wetlands wet. Thank you very much. Sehr geehrte Teilnehmerinnen und Teilnehmer, mein Name ist Peter Jau und ich bin Berichterstatter für die zukünftige Agrarreform im Europäischen Parlament. Ich freue mich sehr, Sie zum heutigen Webinar Moorgebiete in der neuen GAB per Video begrüßen zu dürfen. Mit dem Thema Politikultur, Moor, Feucht- und Hofgebiete bin ich schon sehr früh im Prozess der Reform der gemeinsamen Agrarpolitik in Kontakt gekommen. Wir alle auch die Landwirtschaftspolitik müssen uns den neuen Herausforderungen stellen. Dazu zählt allen voran der Kampf gegen den Klimawandel und ein ambitionierter Einsatz für unsere Umwelt. Ich und viele meiner Kollegen sehen Landbewirtschaftung auf wiedervernetzten Mooren als eine der größten Chancen für den Klimaschutz, Gewässerschutz und der ländlichen Entwicklung. Daher setze ich mich dafür ein, dass die sogenannten Paludi-Flächen auch weiterhin als futterfähige landwirtschaftliche Fläche definiert bleiben. Ich begrüße den regen Austausch, auch unter derzeitig erschwerten Umständen, um das enorme Potenzial von Palitikulturen anzusprechen. Ich wünsche viel Erfolg bei den folgenden Webinar mit hoffentlich vielen interessanten Erkenntnissen. Ihr Dr. Peter Jahr. My name is Grace O'Sullivan. I'm a member of the European Parliament for Ireland South. I'm part of the Green Group in the Parliament and I sit on the committees of the ENVI, which is in the, the Environment, and I sit on PESH, I'm the coordinator for the Green Group on the 
Insurance Committee. I just want to say that it's really important that we recognise the ability for peatlands and wetlands to sequest carbon and to help in the fight against climate change. And I'm hoping that farmers will see the opportunity to move from traditional farming to wetland peatland farming and that under the new cap there will be provisions made to support farmers to do this. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Anja Hazekamp. I'm a member of the European Parliament since 2014. I represent the Dutch Party for the Animals, the first political party in the world that doesn't focus on the short-term interests of humans, but on the entire planet and all of her inhabitants instead. I'm a vice chair of the European Parliament's Environment Committee and a member of the Agriculture and Fisheries Committees. As a trained biologist specialized in wetlands, I'm very happy to speak to you today. I spend a lot of time in the peatlands of Eastern Germany, where I fell in love with these invaluable ecosystems, not only because of their biodiversity, but also because of their beauty. Peatlands play an important role in the terrestrial storage of carbon, and therefore we need to protect them, protect them against drainage, uh, protect them against urbanization, and protect them from intensive farming. The way we produce food is unsustainable and causes irreparable damage to our ecosystems. Therefore, Europe should end harmful agricultural subsidies and make a shift towards organic farming within the boundaries of our planets. Thank you. Dear organizers, dear participants to this webinar, my name is Norbert Linz, Chair of the Agriculture Committee in the European Parliament. Thanks for giving me the opportunity for a very brief comment. The reduction of greenhouse gas emissions is a challenge to, to us all. I am convinced that agriculture will continue to play a vital role in cutting down emissions in the future. Peatlands might be one tool to help farmers achieve this goal. However, by doing so, we should make sure that they are being rewarded accordingly for their contribution to carbon storage. I wish you an interesting webinar and a lot of success with your deliberations for the future. My name is Marid McGuinness. I represent the Midlands North West constituency in the European Parliament and I work on the Agriculture and the Environment Committee. We have a lot in common in those committees. We're debating climate change and looking at land use. In the past, the European Union and national governments supported farmers to drain land and to put it into traditional agriculture. Today, we're debating land use and how it impacts on our climate. And we know that you can sequester a great deal of carbon in peatlands if they're managed in a particular way. But we have to find incentives and ways to support those farmers who are moving from traditional agriculture on those peatlands towards wetland farming on peatlands. And I hope we can achieve a policy that delivers on both. It would be a win-win situation for everyone.